Hello and welcome to ARCA at New Hampshire Motor Speedway. We're about to hop in here. New week on iRacing. Um, these are the settings that I'm going to go for here. Seems to be good enough. And I'm actually going to set the brake bias back even further once I get into the car. So uh, this flat track, I'm really uh, trying to get the car turning. Especially since I tend to overdrive. So that's just uh, that's how I usually go about it, for better or for worse. I should probably just not be overdriving it, but you know, <laughs> I'm working on it. Um, kind of, kind of lacking on uh, you know hot lap speed. Would like to be a bit quicker. Um, my time was okay, but I was a couple tenths off of the super fastest guys, so. Not ideal. Yeah, I just... Somehow the fastest guys are getting a couple tenths on me, and I just I can't quite get there. Some people are shifting this week. I'm not sure if I will or not. I might just selectively shift. Like if I uh, happen to drive in too hard or something and it bogs down, maybe I'll I'll give it a go. Yeah, 30.728. That's about as good as I've been able to do so far. Do something crazy here, see if it works. Hey, it almost did. <laughs> actually, that, that, that other half, half of the lab actually was pretty fast. There's the flag. It's over. Dang. Maybe it should have been doing something crazy the whole time. Did you see that? That was a tenth faster, the second uh, half of the lab. You see right there. Huh. There might be something to that. Oh, hey, JP Phillips. He's the guy that's super fast. <laughs> he had the fastest time in practice. Well, hey, that's nice of him to say. I'll uh, say thank you back. Hopefully we'll get started right away here. Looks like just about everyone's qualifying. Thanks. Look to you as well. Alright, so. We are the number three. Um, I have the feeling the first couple of guys are probably... Uh, gonna run away with it. I have no idea what my long run pace is gonna be. Um, first uh, race of the week. Usually I do my uh, recording on the first race I do, but last week I, uh, I did a little uh, practice race at USA, essentially beforehand. So that wasn't the case in that one. Um, that was just because it was too late at night for me to record, but um, we're just waiting on a couple more people. It shouldn't be too much longer. The five and the seven. And it looks like they're probably out there, or at least the 7 is. Maybe doing their next lap. Hmm. Hopefully they'll uh, get it moving so we don't have to wait the whole time, but only about a minute left anyway. So that was interesting, that second, <laughs> that like huge dive I did and then shift into third. That obviously is not what you would want to do during a race because your car would fall apart, but that was kind of interesting. I might have to experiment with that a little bit more. Man, this optimal, optimal would be nice, 30.2, but I don't think that's realistic. Because in order to get that optimal, you know, optimal being like, oh, your best first half with your best second half, like, you're not going to get the run off that you would get. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know if that's even realistic to try to get. I mean, I'm sure someone could get it, but for me, I don't think that's realistic to get. Because if I do that crazy dive into 3 and 4 like I did, I don't think I'm going to have the run off in order to, you know, also get an optimal 1 and 2, if you hear what I'm saying. Obviously, those would be two different laps as well, but... I don't know. Dang, I wish I could hit a 30.2, though. That would have got us full. Actually, this time's... Holding up so much better than I thought. I haven't really been paying attention to where I am, but I'm third. That's nice. In fact, we got one, two, three, four. That's the, the top four. P3. 
All right, I didn't think my lap was all that good. I've been feeling like I'm a little off pace, but hey, that'll stick. And hopefully the car will stick as I send it into the corners this race. You'll be lining up on the inside. Also, um, I fiddled with the uh, sound settings a little bit, so hopefully it sounds okay. I hope I don't have to throw this video out because of bad audio, but uh, I wanted to adjust it a little bit. It wasn't quite where I wanted it, being probably a bit too picky, but... Uh, Fiddled with it. Hopefully it sounds good. The idea was to try to eliminate a little bit more of my wheel and pedal noise. And uh, make sure my voice is coming through nice and clear. We'll see. I don't have like a headset where it's kind of like the mic right in front of my face. I have a uh, blue snowball microphone, I think is what they call it. So it sits on my desk. So it's going to be hard to get rid of all like the wheel noises and stuff. Because, I mean, it's kind of right next to it. But, uh, doing all the noise gate stuff, noise suppression, compressing the audio, all that stuff. Kind of looked up recommended settings for all that kind of stuff. And filled with it to adjust to what I need specifically. And hopefully it sounds good. I did a couple test recordings, but a uh, small sample size when I'm doing those, and it's not catching how I'm actually sounding during the race. So Looks like a second gear starts to me. The shift would be too short for a gear thing. Well, uh, maybe not. Let me get on the straightaway before I start mashing the throttle a little bit more. No, that's... I think we're doing second gear. It's just a little too short for me. Too quick of a shift. We'll find out if I regret it. <laughs> Not like I'm trying to make a crazy pass on the first turn anyway, but I also don't want to get swamped from behind. So. Get ready. Going green. Right. Best view of the leader in the house. Okay, sure. Outside. Ooh. Get on the brakes a little harder than I expected there in order to uh, stay in my lane. Definitely didn't want to get on get into the guy on the outside. Outside, clear. Uh, I don't think it, ch it changed my in-car brake bias. Why is this guy turning down on me? Holy smokes! Give me some space, my man. Okay, yeah, my brake bias is good. I don't think either of us want, uh, want the guy to turn himself on my nose, so let's not do that. He's clear of us now, though. So we're fine. I got some smoke. Someone's had some trouble. The leader has just done a 30.6. The car in front has just done a 30.8. Yeah, I think I just struggle a little bit on these uh, these flat tracks. I enjoy racing them because there's something a little bit different. You don't have too many flat tracks on iRacing. racing. I always enjoy something different, something uh, a new experience. But uh, I think you could, I could uh, stand to improve a little bit on them. Like I said, I think I tend to overdrive. Which is not good. I'm not sure what my long run speed is going to be either. So we got the number six behind us. And then we got a little bit more of a gap behind them. So I think we're, all, we're uh, gonna be okay for top five, we'll see. Still way too early to be talking about that, but. 
Hoping my tires don't just fall off a cliff. I don't feel like I'm driving any harder than anyone around me. If anything, I'm falling off from the guys I had. Which doesn't necessarily mean I'm being better than tires, probably that I'm just not driving right. But Yeah, it seems like they stick that bottom lane. Better than I do. So maybe I should try to drive a little lower. Hey, yeah, there we go. That was pretty good. Well, we don't get the runoff, though. That was still pretty good, I think. As they continue to pull away, but... Saw some green on my Delta, that's All what right, I'm that's good looking at. Keep it up. Oh, yeah, that's much better. At least compared to last lap. I had to break loose on me there, on the exit. I'd prefer that than tight, at least. So we've got space open up behind us. That's good. Drop it as I tend to. I might start shifting later in the run if it gets tighter. Man, it feels like I barely missed the line there, and that's a tenth and a half that I lose by doing that. Crazy. Kind of just in our own little pocket here, for the moment. That lap time was 31.2. The gap ahead is now 0.9. I think I would prefer our being a little looser, setup-wise. That sounds a little crazy, but I don't like the fact that I can be full throttle right. You know what I mean? I feel like I should never be able to do that on flat track like this on exit. The lap time was at I guess it's just uh, the car's not too powerful though, so that's part of the reason why. I'm slowing down now. I know one way to get at least there on exit. Oh yeah, we're shifting. That felt much better. That's the loose on exit I was looking for. We'll see if I regret that later. Maybe it's gonna burn up the rears or something, but... That's more fun to drive! For me. Gentle my throttle. Uh, 31.3 Making too much of a big difference though Speed wise Probably will at least though um, Even the rears out a little bit more uh, compared to the right front as those guys are getting real close. F4 has been on the move. They kind of they got some speed here, I guess. Started behind us. They got a great jump at the start, and then they've been moving forward. They fight for a while. Maybe I can catch up. And some people leaving, apparently. I can only see it in my peripheral as I'm looking at the track, but... Yeah. Oh, Skeeter. Walker Skeeter. I'm sorry. You had a bad race, sir. Clumsy last lap or two. Or at least that last lap was pretty good. <laughs> I 
I honestly feel like even if shifting wasn't faster, it's just more fun having to control the thing. Helps me and my overdriving self wear out the right sides a little more evenly. Speaking of overdriving, it's pretty good, pretty bad right there. Fighting it on exit. I was a little late on the shift there. We've slowly started. It's kind of sad. They fought. This next lap, I'm gonna try uh, fourth gear again. See where I'm at with that. So it's also harder to be more consistent using uh, third gear like that. I'm shifting. I'm going back to shifting. I need to make a full lap to make that decision. If I have the option of shifting or not shifting, I tend to go with shifting. It just seems to be the rep for me. Like a Milwaukee Mile, everyone pretty much was in consensus that shifting was not the way to go, and I'm like, haha, third gear, very fun. Probably slowing myself down doing it too, but... I don't know. Keeps my hands busy. Not that they're not already yanking the wheel around, but, you know. You've just done a 31.5. Catching up to these guys. Again, they've been fighting this whole time too, so I don't even know if I'm necessarily faster or if they are just they've been so preoccupied with each other. The one car is pretty much gone. Maybe gone's a little dramatic, but well, two seconds ahead. Pretty impressive. A little sideways there. You've just done a thirty one point six. I just recently found out that when people queue up the mic like that and don't say anything, if it's not because their mic's not working, it's the iRacing way to say thank you. No one told me that. <laughs> so like that, uh, the leader just passed that lap car and uh, queued up the mic but didn't say anything. That's just kind of like a quick way to say thank you, apparently. I think Gavin said that in one of his videos. I'm like, really? That's why that happens? I just figured people were like accidentally push pushing the button or something. Like, I never knew that's what that meant. Like, where do you go to learn that kind of thing? <laughs> I don't know. Just never heard that mentioned before. That was a bad corner. What did I do wrong there? Your last lap time was at thirty-one point eight. Outside. Whoa. That hurt us a little bit on exit.
wonder how our tires are compared to everyone. I imagine it's probably both the right front and right rear. I tend to be very mean to the tires. Ooh, that almost tried to snap on me. You're a dick anyway. I passed you cleanly and you fucking picked me out. Uh oh. We got fighting. Yeah, uh, just pulled up in front of me. I didn't flip. You could have moved to the inside, you fucking dick. Oh my god. He's mad. Oh, toxic. Hopefully, we can avoid making any enemies out here. But I guess because I'm the 18 car, you're gonna just drive over me. Oh my god, classism! We're kinda here, but I don't know how we're gonna make a pass. Lean up, cut down, get the run. Not if I get loose, I won't. <laughs> I'm trying. It's uh, not likely that uh, the guys up here are gonna make a mistake. I know JP's real fast. He's always up the front, up near the front. Usually is anyway. So he's not going to be an easy one to pass. I don't think we're going to get any three mistakes. That one was at 31.9. As opposed to mistakes you pay for, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> this has been a pretty fun drive, though. A lot of people don't like New Hampshire. I kind of do. Even if I'm not the greatest here. Especially when it's like, uh, one of these cases where you have to fight it on exit. It's pretty fun. Except in this case, I kind of invented my own loose on exit by shifting. That leader continues to pull away. We're just so similar on speed. Like I, I've gotten to his bumper, but... Run there. Not quite there yet, though. I'm gonna dive bomb him. I have to nose there first. Do a little bit of a fake. I don't know. I want to race him nice. He's nice to me, so. Whoa. Checks up a little bit more than I expected there, though. Just getting tight. Nah, I hear him shifting. So he's uh, doing the same thing we are. Kinda gave us the inside. We weren't there, but he gave it to us. He's gonna get the runoff, though. So much for that. I don't know how I'm gonna make a pass. Alpha 
outside. Still there. Stay low. Okay, I powered through that corner pretty good. Back in third. Keep hustling. Clear up top. Oh yeah. Got it done. Woo, I had to wheel that thing. I was like tightrope balancing on that <laughs> seam between the first and the second lane. That got me sweating. <laughs> five. Five to go. Uh, 31.9. Pulling my wheel off the desk. Oh, I'm driving hard. You like to live life on the edge shift this week, I guess. <laughs> that makes it a lot more of a challenge. Oh boy. That was at thirty one point nine. Can we catch this too? I don't think we have enough time. But we're gonna try. Or not two, but second place. Past the two. Time was 31.9. Mmm, I liked that. Tried that thing, a little a little mini version of that thing I tried in uh, qualifying after qualifying was over, pretty much. That was faster. This lap traffic battle could become a problem, though. We'll be on the podium. That's good consistency. Keep it up. P3. Oh, I'm wheeling it, man. Oh, what are these lap cars doing? Car inside. Clear. Ow, I'll let you lower it. Turn my flag. One flag. Oof. Okay, Colton. Outside. To go. Keep it together. We'll be on the podium. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Clear. Listen to it in hard without that. There is a car on the high side. Clear. Dang. I was going to have a hell of a battle there at the end, but I didn't think it was worth blocking the leaders. <laughs> Darn if that didn't work. Right. Yeah, exactly. Good job. Good, good race, good job. win. That was fun. Whew. That was intense. Yeah, I like. I like New Hampshire a lot. That was a good track. Oh boy, curious. <laughs> okay, so I really wore off the right front. Go figure. Seventy nine ninety. That's probably pretty bad. Uh, uh, that's not too bad. I'm gonna go ahead and get mine since we had someone else share. Actually, you know what? I did pretty good compared to a couple other guys. Uh, so yeah. So eighty, eight ninety two, seventy seven, eighty nine. I think I was pretty good. I'm cool with that. All right. So, we got ourselves a podium. We finished where we're supposed to, apparently, in third. Um, the number one kicked our booties, but <laughs> that's fine. Uh, we had a nice battle, and maybe even with a little more time, we could have gotten second. Uh, kind of started doing crazy stuff at the end there. <laughs> I guess with the little bit of extra tire I had left. But, uh... 
Let's see what happened, accident-wise. Get some angry people, so you know something happened. 18 spawn here. Oh, there's what happened to Mr. Skeeter. Yep. Do you think it's his real name? And I don't know what else I could Walker have done Skeeter. there. He stood up in front of Must me. Be. I could have lifted, but, I mean, I couldn't go low. And we're coming right off the corner. That's why uh, he left early. Ooh, Levin got loose. Well, you loose do all faster than you. Seventeen was loose too. Well, you were faster, Levin. You just passed me earlier. Bad circumstances there. I guess next time I'll just give you the bumper and move you right out of the way. How about that? <laughs> These guys are still fighting. Works for me. You act like you had nothing. You couldn't do anything. You, I, basically pulled up in front of you and you just dumped me in the fence. You can't wait to see what happened between these two. Put up in front of me. I was holding my line to oh, the nope. corner. I don't know. I'm getting them all pretty good there. By this point, we're on the straightaway. Yeah, I'd be mad if I was 18 too. That's kind of crap. <laughs> I guess I'll just remember how you race, and I'll race you appropriately. Sounds good, buddy. Man, I just ran him over. Okay, well, the retaliation was not necessary. Even that he was faster. I might have damaged his car there. That was so unnecessary. Oh boy. Well, that's what happened there. It definitely was the Nine's fall. He made no attempt not to run into the back of the guy. Just plowed through him. But, I don't think the retaliation helped anybody. That's it, huh? Wow, pretty clean race other than that. So, alright, that's all there is to see, I suppose. So, started third, finished third, and the third car. Number-wise. <laughs> pretty solid. Alright, that's uh, better than I thought I was going to do. I didn't feel like I had too much speed, um, short run, I guess, um, like for qualifying and things, but apparently that was okay too. Got my third place starting spot and was able to finish it as well. I had a great battle with JP. Finally found a way to get past him. Didn't think I was going to, and uh, even got kind of close at the end. The floor kind of, I don't think he saw me coming, and he was like, wait a second, is he going to catch me? That's kind of weird. I was surprised how fast I was catching him too, because I'm like, ooh. And he's like, what? Block. I was never going to reach him, so I don't think the block was necessary. But All right, anyway, that's it for that race. Uh, very fun one. I enjoyed that a lot. Um, I like shifting. A lot of people have decided not to shift. I know Nick says, no, you don't need to shift. It's not worth it in the long run. But uh, I thought it was pretty good. I thought it wore out the rears a little bit more uh, to help even it out. And uh, it was more fun to drive uh, for me. Um, but I just, I really enjoy having to fight a loose race car, so maybe it's just all preference. Uh, who knows, maybe the one was staying in fourth the whole time and kicked our butts. So, who knows. Let's listen. I think he was staying in fourth. I didn't hear the shift there, unless he just decided to stop shifting later in the run. Yep, sounds like he's not shifting, so maybe the way is to not shift, but I enjoyed shifting. It was fun for me, and uh, had a fun race. So, that's it. Thanks for watching. I, uh, I'll see you next time. Have a good one.